okay this is what you're going to see <clears throat> when you just open your vs code so <clears throat> The first thing you are going to do is to come to file. When you get to file, you go to open folder. When you click on open folder, so it will take you to this place. So you are going to click on new folder. When you click on new folder, so it's going to create a new folder for you. Then you can rename it. To whatever you want let's say coding with abiba as we have said so you rename it and you pick that folder but as for me i've created coding with uh, a folder with coding with abiba before so let me just pick it and select folder remember you're going to create new folder uh, as your own is concerned you're going to create new folder then rename it as coding with abiba then select the folder so this is the folder here good coding with habiba so you come here this one means new file so if you want to create a new file under coding with habiba this is where you go if you want to create a new folder this is where you go but be because we want our work to be to fall inside the same folder so let's create folder now that will be for this one so this folder will not be in general folder which is coding with habiba so this folder you create new you click on it then you create my first code that is what i've created here so after you have created my first code which is this then you right click and go to new file so when you pick new file that is when you are going to create html or a uh, first code dot html so i've done that before that's it first code dot html so Immediately you create first code .html. This is what you're going to have. Now you are in the same stage with. So those PC users, in this video, I will just be teaching you how you can, how you can connect your browser with your VS Code, so that any code you write on VS Code, you'll be able to view it on browser. But other lessons like how did we code and all of that, uh you should watch the video that i did for those android users so it's the same thing but your own you need to learn how to connect browser with vs code so to connect browser with vs code so you go to view so when you go to view okay let me tell you what i actually want you to know when you are coding when you are typing your codes you're supposed to be checking uh whatever you have written inside code if it is effective on browser so to do that you come to your uh draw and doc and um, you come to your doc document then you right click you see this thing open in default browser or open in other browser these two things you won't see it as a new user if you have not installed it so you're not going to see it there so how did i get it to be here then that is what i want to teach you now so you go to view when you go to view you come down to extensions so when you get to extensions you see this search bar then you type in there open in browser open in browser so i've installed it before but this is it so you have many dear but this is the one i recommend take r so this take r then instead of disable and uninstall you will have seen just install here so you will install it and that is all so immediately you install it then you can view it here so when you now want to view yours whatever you have typed you come here right click it and go to open in either default browser or other browser depending on your choice so let me choose default browsers then google chrome so i'm waiting for it it's going to load now
Why is it taking time? Aha. So when you're under your code, it will show here. When you're under extension, okay. So this is it here. You can see code with Habiba, my first code, and all of that. So I didn't have put some code inside this one now. So it is the code that you'll be seeing on the system on this browser here. So you can just minimize it so that as you are coding here, you type your code. You can minimize this one too. So as you type your code here, you come to this place to see whatever you have typed. And in case you just include anything new here, you just come here and refresh it. That is when it will reappear. So you refresh it to see whatever you have put here. But remember, you need to be saving your document. So whatever you type here, then you can easily save it. Control S or something. Yeah, Control S. Or you come to file and pick save. So either of it. Is that use save like that or use Control S? After you have saved it, then you come here, refresh your browser, and you're going to see the effect of what you have typed inside your uh code editor so thank you for your time bye see you in the next class